Come on, let's get you inside, get you all fixed. Welcome back everyone. Back on the Mini, back on the Mini's engine. Uh, this episode, we are gonna be taking the cylinder head off because in the last episode, we saw that the engine was getting rather hot and there was a lot of pressure in the cooling system. It was definitely pushing coolant out the head of tank. So I need to take the head off to see what's going on. Suspect the head gasket has gone. Um, the cylinder heads are pretty bulletproof. They don't generally warp because they're made of cast iron, um, but we just don't know yet. So it's a good idea to take the head off. Quite an easy job on these, and then we can inspect to see what we need to do next. So let's go. <laughs> take the ignition coil mounting bracket off just to get it out of the way for when I lift the head later and this one bolt one of three has rounded off I've tried the air winds but they're not working so I'm going to try and grind like a flat sort of channel in there to get a flat bladed screwdriver in there and use that on the impact gun so we'll see <laughs> Snap the tip off. Try the Irwin again. Oh, yes. Finally. Bring that up to the camera. Hmm. So here's the cylinder head, and can't really see anything obvious here. It all looks as you'd kind of expect, but <clears throat> I think for good measure, I'm going to strip the whole thing down, get it lightly skimmed, get it all cleaned out inside then put it all back together. Give this a quick clean up.
saw in those clips, I removed the head and done some pretty heavy duty scrubbing. And I think you'll agree it's pretty clean. This is the bottom side and this is the top side. But I have decided I am going to get the bottom skimmed. This is wise when you have a cylinder head off to check for flatness. But if I'm honest, I'm not even going to bother getting the feeler gauges out. I know that this won't be warped. Obviously with the head off being skinned, it's time to remove the water pump. Is what's come out of the radiator. A few little nuggets but I wouldn't say it was blocked in any way. Cool so you saw there I flushed the radiator through and it wasn't too bad. I mean I've, I've done multiple flushes with it in the car. There was just a final few sort of rusty nuggets that have come out. I finished off the block and the manifold flanges and the water pump flange so they're all nice and clean, dry, ready to put the cylinder head back on. Obviously, as I mentioned earlier, that's in the machinists. It's going to get a very light skim just to clean the surface. And yeah, we'll put it all back, all back together. I had a bit of a result with the idler pulley, which came off the auxiliary belt. So the idler pulley had a little bit of play in it. And I thought, well, I've had experience with changing pulleys, idler wheels and things before. I pressed out the bearing from the pulley. Um, but it was quite a specific type. It wasn't something that I could just swap the bearing out. The bearing inner was slightly extended so it could bolt onto the side of the block. Um, but the hoarder in me does hold on to pulleys and bearings and all sorts um, from when I strip cars down and, and whatnot. And I just happened to find a nice modern belt pulley or idler. And so I managed to press the outer casing off of that then press the plastic mini idler pulley onto that and then I cut I drew a pencil mark and cut around the outer side then I was able to bolt that straight onto the mini block so that seems to work quite nicely um, yeah so I've saved myself 25 quid which I'm chuffed about that pays for the head gasket Anyway, I think I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you've enjoyed watching me strip the mini engine down. The next episode, I'm going to rebuild the top end and start the car and hopefully have no more overheating issues, but we will see. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. Thank you to everyone who's viewed the mini series to date. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode where fingers crossed, the car will be done. So anyway, until next time, I bid you farewell and see you soon. Bye. Oh, wow. But anyway, back to the Mini.